All right, so we're back again. And like I said in last week's video, I was gonna drop five pounds, five, six pounds. I bet, I bet on it in the description, but I didn't do it. I only dropped four pounds. But four pounds coming from 230 is still pretty good if you ask me. I actually did weigh in at 224 on Saturday, but Saturday is my rest day and I, I don't reduce my macros on my, my rest day. So your boy went up another two pounds to 226, but it's all good. I have a full day of eating for you because I want to show you what I eat on my high carb days, my high carb, low protein days. I only have days like these twice a week on my leg days. So kicking it off with the first meal, three servings of original and Jemima pancake mix, just mixed with water. I didn't put any eggs or milk, had some eggs with that one whole jumbo egg and three egg whites macros on the screen so you can see that had some light syrup with it i know i should be having sugar free but i have so many carbs to play with and light syrup does taste a whole lot better than that fake shit then the second meal i had some chicken sweet potatoes and broccoli showing you how i break down my meals how i cook everything how i prepare everything i have this little cast iron grill pan that i use for indoors because grilling is the best way to cook your chicken breast chicken breast isn't the most exciting thing to eat it's pretty bland but if you cook it right it actually can taste pretty good so if you want to get yourself a grill pan you can find one at any store but they're really really useful when it comes to cooking chicken breast because i personally me i don't like chicken breast but you know you got it it has the most protein so you got to do what you got to do and it tastes especially good when you drizzle it with a little bit of sweet baby raised barbecue sauce you know what i'm saying that's the shit's total macros again on the screen for you then after that i had a banana and peanut butter sandwich and the crazy thing about all the stuff that i had throughout the day was i had all this food within six hours like time I, my first meal was at 1.30 in the afternoon and my last meal was at 8. I try to get in all my meals before 8 o'clock because I go to the gym at 10 and I don't like to go to the gym and work out on an empty stomach, especially on leg day. And today I'm hitting deadlifts, so me having food in my stomach is, is like, it's no good for me. I don't work out good when I have food in my stomach. So that was the second meal. Third meal was some raisin bran. I really don't eat cereal too much on a cut because honestly, it's a waste of macros especially with the cereal that's so dense like raisin bran and i coupled it with the two percent milk i know you're thinking like what the fuck is this guy doing if you ever cut before like this guy is making no sense but i tried to like i i was on a panic i was doing a lot of work on my computer and i had to eat food at the same time it's crazy like it's crazy this is the first day i ever had where getting all this food in was actually a fucking challenge like it was pretty crazy but I managed to get it all in before eight o'clock. That's why I'm making some pretty crazy food choices. I really don't eat cereal and milk on my cut because honestly, there's a lot more filling things I could eat, but eh, it is what it is. Moving on to the next meal, four ounces of chicken breast, 100 grams of broccoli, 166 grams of sweet potato, no sweet baby rays this time, but I did have a Quaker Oats chewy yogurt strawberry bar or whatever just to hit the macros. And I had a little bit more macros left over, so I had five crackers. If you're like my boy Floyd Mayweather and you can't read, I'm gonna read it out for you. 376 carb, 47 fat, 162 protein was the macros I hit. Now I did go over my protein by 12 grams and I went under my fat by three. But moving forward, I'm gonna give myself 25 grams of protein more to play with. So my total protein will be 175. I don't wanna lose weight faster than one and a half pounds per week. If I do do lose a weight a little bit faster than that it's okay but i'm really trying to stay at 1.5 pounds per week and maintain as much muscle as possible smooth transition workout today like i said was deadlifts i did 10 sets of deadlifts i did three warm-up sets 135 225 315 one set each that's three sets and then i did five by five of 405 that's eight total sets and then i did two sets after that at 275 now this is the first set i did and already watching my deadlifts back i want to work on my depth i feel like honestly i don't go low enough i don't go as low as i should it is tall people problems it's also because i have really tight hip flexors since i do do a lot of sitting and working at a computer i have really tight hip flexors that could also be because i'm really tall and i have weak glutes at the same time so me working on my depth is going to fix um two problems you know my tight ass hip flexors actually i need to fix my tight ass hip flexors so i can go lower so i can work on my glutes not being as strong and not firing off properly so that's why i've been doing a lot of um work on my compound movements lately maybe that isn't the right choice maybe i should work on smaller muscles or do some more stretching in the beginning that would actually help me resolve the issue but 
totally unrelated i've been working on more compound movement throughout my split as a whole in the past i would do like eight different exercises per workout and four sets each but lately i've been really focusing on the compound movements doing only like five movements but five of the biggest movements and for like five to six sets each after that moving on i did some hip thrust hip thrust is something that i've only been doing for the past month and a half i have weak glutes and part of building a really balanced physique is working on your weaknesses so i do need to work on my glutes been doing this exercise for about a month and a half now I know this is not a lot of weight, it's only 175 pounds, but after deadlifts, I'm pretty fucking tired. So 175 pounds, did five sets of 12 reps. Sometimes I went 15 reps, so it is pretty high reps. I could actually increase the weight a little bit more, go for lower reps if I wanted to. Honestly, it's not uncomfortable, but it's kind of awkward to do, especially since I don't have that little pad that goes around the bar. I'm using a yoga mat to support the bar instead because that's all I have. Next exercise I did was stiff leg deadlifts, did five sets of 12 to 15 reps. Honestly, looking back, I think I hit 15 reps on every single set. Like I said, working on only the compound movements, 10 sets of deadlifts, five sets of hip thrusts, five sets of stiff leg deadlifts. Then I finished it off with five sets of lying leg curls on the world's crappiest leg curl machine but it is what it is got it done even though it's like awkward positioning it is pretty effective and this is going to be the new place that i do my before and after pictures in the beginning the before and after pic was a little bit inconsistent it's weird the one has better lighting than the other one is a little bit zoomed in more than the other so this is going to be the new official spot that i do my before and after pics if you're new to the channel this is the second week of the weight loss series that i'm doing i'm going to be dieting for 16 weeks and giving you tips on how to lose weight how to build muscle things you should be eating to lose weight and things you should avoid doing so check out my channel subscribe hit the bell notification i'm uploading a new episode every sunday between 6 and 9 p.m eastern time thank you for watching